Evening everybody, it's another weekend. So what do we do on the weekend now? Besides dread going to work, we do comic books. Every Saturday night, uh, like clockwork lately, I've been able to get my books from Senor Dan at uh, .com Comics, which I am not going to advertise by saying their name too much here because I have some real disdain for a few of their practices they do down there and a couple of things that have kind of been bad in the past. But Dan I like. Dan is my friend and he does me big favors. So to Dan we give kudos who never sees these videos so I don't have to say much else. Um, so here we go guys. We got a nice stack of books tonight. Uh, to give everybody a good idea and so Mr. Chunky can... Bug his wife to crap. This week's books came out to a resounding $42.98. Of course, that would be in part because I got a manga and a trade paperback this week. So, cost me a bit more. The end of the stuff was not a whole lot. And we'll talk about those individually. Um, start on my vacation, everybody. Da 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 The it's more important that I starting my vacation now because uh yesterday sucked. And anybody that's watched my uh Fate Grand Order video from this morning knows why. And of course I found out more details about the individual in question. Um, that was uh, heckling me along with his wife last night as I was doing my job. I found out their neighbors. And by neighbors, folks, I mean they live about a, a half mile away from me. But they're still in the same town as me. And they literally live down the road and a couple of feet to the left. They live up the end of my road. And then when you get to the end of my road and you get to the main highway, you go about 100 feet to the left. And there they are, the rat bastards. So great. And of course, this guy is well-renowned at my job so as being an ass. So him and his wife came in and they should have been kicked out. And by that, I mean they should have been kicked out of the store most of the time they've been there. They are they are practically professional douchebags. And I'm not just making this up, folks. They have a resounding uh, reputation as being a-holes. So, lucky me. I was the one that got to deal with them last night. And uh, so, this today was made up. Um, it made up for it in resounding leaps and bounds as I was able to talk to my management staff. Uh, praise the Lord, they were very um, understanding, and I just wanted to inform them and found out that nobody had been informing them about incidents like this and other incidents that happen after they leave at the end of the day. Well, I was more than happy to inform them and give them my personal commentary on what happened. Now, I wasn't a jerk about it. At least, I hope it's not how I came across but I did add my personal commentary in because I don't want to see people at my job suffer because ah, you guys don't accept loose change anymore. No, we accept loose change and we accept cash, but you can't go through a self checkout with that now. I'm sorry the U.S. Mint is not making a lot of coins right now. Listen to the sound of my small violin play. I don't care. You know what? Don't make your problems my problems. We all got to suffer together. And do I shop? Yes, I do. Which means I have to suffer right along with them. So, wah, cry me a river. I suffer just like any other human being. Apparently, I suffer more because of the a-hole human beings out there who are making my life harder. So, it's like, if nothing else, I suffer more. So if anything, they owe me. They need to stop their whining and complaining about things that are outside of everyone's control. Not just retail establishments or the people that work there or the people that run them or the people that own them or any grocery store or anything else. It's nobody's fault. 
If anything, you could just say it was a set of circumstances. Now, you can conspiracy theory all you want that the government's doing this on purpose. Maybe they are. What do I know? But for right now, the problem is here. We all got to deal with it. So I would hope that people would get the sticks out of their ass and get back to being people. And if you're not, then stop breathing my air. That's all I got to say on that. So night got better. And here is the culmination of our evening. Here it is passing almost midnight. And uh, we're almost into Sunday. And the party is starting. And what are we starting with tonight? Venom. I am behind. I don't have... You see how it's Venom Beyond Part 2? I did not know what was going on in Venom. So, oh, my oven just beeped. I gotta go throw my pizza in soon. I'm gonna watch uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, as I eat pizza from the oven. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Um, so anyway, um, I am uh, um, behind on Issue 1, but I figure Issue 1 was a lead-in. And I'm just going to have to deal with it. Um, but uh, they're doing this big thing with the Venom from the Ultimate Universe is now in our universe. And he's duking it out with the Venom from our universe. It sounds really cool. I don't usually get into Venom, but after Maximum... Uh, excuse me. After... Um, what was the name? Absolute Carnage and a couple other things. I took a really invested interest. Now here's Transformers Galaxies. Uh, Transformers Galaxies, um, is kind of an offshoot of the Transformer book. I'm looking into it, but I'm starting to think I'm going to drop everything having to do with Transformers, except for the crossovers, because the regular Transformers storyline, I think, is, believe it or not, folks, I think it's going woke. I think it's going very woke, and it's getting to be trashed, and I don't know who's writing it right now, but I don't believe it's going in a direction that I am comfortable with. Let's put it that way. By the way, uh, the Venom book was three ninety nine, and this is also three ninety nine. Now, right now, I don't know much about Transformers Galaxy or otherwise. The big thing I picked up Transformers Galaxy about was the first few issues were about the Constructicons. I don't think they're in the book as much anymore, so we might just dump it for a time. I don't know if I care about uh, consistency. Um, here is Justice League Odyssey. Number 23. Um, the uh, Venom was 27. And the Transformers Galaxy was number 8, by the way, guys. In case you're keeping track at all. Um, so, what we got right now is uh, another offshoot of Justice League. Um, I'm very, very interested in getting caught up on this and seeing where it's going. Because I heard it's getting cancelled. That's right. Uh, I believe the rumor I heard was it's getting the boot. I don't know that for certain, but I thought it was on the list along with Teen Titans, Young Justin, and a few other things. Just a little rumor I heard. I don't know if it's true, but I think I heard it's getting the boot, so it might be finishing up soon. We will find out soon enough, I'm sure. $3.99 for that book. All right, that was our cheap stuff by comparison. Dark Knights, excuse me, Dark, yeah, did I say Dark Knights? Yeah, it is plural. Dark Knights Death Metal. And this one, of course, is $4.99 because we put a nice fancy cover on it and because everybody and their uncle is going to be reading it because the first one was awesome. And the thing is, is they know they can bilk you for an extra buck. Um, number three, guys. Why don't you get a look? They're pace, my understanding is they're rescuing Superman in this one um, from New Apocalypse. Basically, what happened, guys, is that... Uh, um, at the end of the Justice League, um, and we'll get to the manga here in a minute, guys. At the end of the Justice League Legion of Doom, um, war that they had, um, they, uh, apparently duked it out, and what was, what happened at the end was that, uh, reality was remade, and the multiverse in the DC universe is not much right now, it's very limited. Now, is that bleeding into regular DC books? Of course not! Heaven forbid we should actually have some continuity in any books, in any comic books. Well, DC, if you didn't hear about folks, just laid off 600 people. 600 people were laid off, including the head editor-in-chief. So, they're going down the crapper. So, they might want to get their collective butts in gear and get their heads out of their butts. And uh, be careful, because I hear some other people might have their head in the chopping block. 
and um, let's just say you're gonna they're gonna want to keep putting out stuff like death metal and keep getting sales like that because if they decide to start going with more woke which they did some of this stuff is garbage it's gonna come back and bite them in the butt in the butt um We'll have to wait and see. So, anyway, guys, next up on the list is the more interesting books. I got a new Ruby manga. Oh, it's, um, I, I really get into the Ruby stuff, guys. Let me, um, see if I can pop this open. Uh, I'm not as big into this particular artwork, but I heard about this in Japan, and I was really interested to see what it, what it looked like. Um, the, uh... Previous books were more like anthologies. They had little individual things. They were done by different artists. This is definitely done by my more by one artist. Uh, I'm looking for something, guys. Um, you know, let me let me guys give you guys an idea of what the interior artwork looks like. This is why manga is, except for the fact that it's not colored, is starting to make bigger sales than comic books. I'm sorry, folks, but um, uh, artwork is good. Uh, I mean, this is pretty adequate. I mean, I like it good enough. Um, I mean, it cost me... And remember, folks, um, I get a discount. So this was twelve ninety nine, but it was about 11 something by the time I was done. I got a couple bucks knock, knocked off it. So I don't know if there's going to be a future, any more future books after this, guys. But I believe this one is the official manga. I like how they embossed this thing. It's all red and everything. It's really nice. Um, I want to get one of these for my friend mr bumby but i don't know what's gonna happen i also know rooster teeth is in a bit of trouble themselves also their artists down there one of their artists makes a crappy looking wonder woman anybody that's been reading comic books knows about that wonder woman 84 cover it's garbage it wouldn't even be worth buying to wipe my butt with it was crap it was self-serving crap to boot because the artist drew a picture of herself in a Wonder Woman costume and made it look like garbage. I hope it. I hope the entire stock of those burn before they get on the damn comic shelves. They suck. And I don't care the fact that the Wonder Woman looks like she's purple. The fact of the matter is it's garbage. Utter garbage. It's not worth turning into toilet paper. So there. That's what I got to say about that. But, um... Just DC has got some things that make me happy and other things that are a complete, complete and abysmal disappointment. I tell you, just freaking terrible. That particular manga, folks, came from uh, Viz, by the way, which gives me my Naruto and a lot of my other books, to be honest. So I love Viz. Viz is making lots of money, and the guys that run Viz are talking about um, how well they're doing in sales. Good on Viz, uh, Viz, uh, I don't know what they're called. Is it comics? No, I, uh, actually, I don't know, folks, what they're called. Give me a second, folks. Uh, Viz, Viz Media. Okay, they are still calling themselves Viz Media, and this particular book was listed under their Viz Signature books. So, things are getting interesting, um, where DC is going down the crappa instead of Marvel, which Marvel deserves to Marvel deserves to flush in, be flushed down the toilet of the universe. They suck. They are which the standard from which suck comes from. But somehow DC ended up with it first because AT&T bought them out and AT&T apparently wants to make money. Whereby Disney does not, I guess. Um, last up for the books, folks, is Venom Island. I heard good things about Venom Island. So I had my friend Dan down there pick me up a trade paperback of this. $17.99, but I did get a discount on it. So $17.99, that's what really was a big, that's what took a big hit. And what cost me so much money this week. Now, why didn't I pick up Venom Island when it was individually out? Well, because I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know a dang thing because all they would do is be like, it's Venom Island. You should buy it. It could be Swill, but it's Venom Island. Buy it, damn you. You know, it's like, okay. So, what do you think I did? I didn't buy it. And then I regretted it. It's just the way it goes. 
Now, um, I want to show you guys, I'm looking through this right now. I want to show you um, some of the interior artwork. Um, I want to tell you guys, this is put out by some of the great... Donnie Cates puts this out, but Mark Bagley is one of the pencilers. Andy Owens is the inker. I mean, these are some big names in the comic book industry, guys. Um, they also did some other stuff with um, uh, Ron Lim. Uh, he's a... Uh, He's, I want to say, I use the term legend, re, you know, loosely, but he's kind of a legend. Everybody knows that name. Um, and, um, I'm trying to figure out who the penciler is for some other stuff here, but I know there was other pencilers. I know there was other people that did the art for it, guys, but it looks great. And, um, uh, thing is is that I'm trying to see if I can find some stuff here uh, da -da 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 uh, wonderful phenomenal artwork guys I'm looking through this um, this is the idea that they were had behind this one that the carnage symbiote hung around and he was on the island with him um, I'm trying to see if I can find you something that looks really good guys so that we can look at that and then see. Uh... So this actually was a good continuation of what happened after um, Absolute Carnage. So I really should have, um, I really should have done some more. Um, oh, here's a great one to look at, guys. Look at the artwork for the, for Carnage there. Just amazing. Now I'm guessing that this is the real Carnage, and not, um, or that it's at least a symbiote, but. Um, I mean, the thing is, is that it, it looks great. Um, uh, some of the artwork looks like what was in absolute, um, carnage. Um, oh, let's look at one last one guys to show you what the art looks. Look at this big, look at this big, like gatefold thing here. They got going. Uh, sorry about the glare off it guys. But uh, I mean, this is this is great art. This is just great, fantastic art. And I'm I'm really sad I didn't pick up this individually. But admittedly, guys, um, uh, trade paperbacks are the way a lot of people are going now. It really is. It's just more effective for a comic book person to wait it out and pick up a trade paperback. It doesn't really cost you any less, but it definitely is. Uh, if you pick up a lot of comic books, it's um, easier. It's easier to find the books you want to read. It's better um, as far as not just spacing, but um, as far as if you can organize your thing. If you buy every single volume of this, this is, uh, this is folks, if you see it here down here in the bottom, let me see if I can show you. This is volume four. So there's multiple volumes of this. You can just stack these up in a bookshelf somewhere and be, boom, there you go. You got a whole bunch of these. I mean, it's it's just great to have trade paperbacks. I uh, hear that a lot of the comic book industry is going in that direction. Here's the latest previews, guys. I don't believe that's the right page. Uh, it is. Okay, guys. I now know why they're doing a Transformers thing for Back to the Future. Apparently, they're doing a comic book. By the way, guys, here's the big dick sucking uh, Marvel insert which we don't care about that oops it flew into the trash what a shame I mean no I didn't say that um, check this out guys Transformers Back to the Future big crossover Transformers is going into everything it's great I love it I love that they're putting Transformers and they're crossing over and everything I forgot that they actually had Back to the Future now this particular Transformer here folks there's a real Transformer out here. This They put out one. Guess what? Sold out. It was exclusive to Walmart. Sold off their website in less than a couple of seconds. So you can barely find them anymore. They're putting out one for Top Gun, though. And I am happy about that. Um, I don't know if I, there's anything else really in this. I, without DC, the, the previews just isn't the same, I'll be honest. And I don't really know if there's much else. IDW guys, Boom Studios... Uh, let me see if I can find Boom. Um, there's Boom. Um, they're the they're the last of what I got. There's Mighty More from Power Rangers. Um, uh, 
Wow. I did not know that. It looks like, guys, that they're doing a new Mega Man. I didn't know that. He looks so weird, though. I will have to look into that. I am surprised. This is why I, get, I don't look at my previews close enough. Uh, they're doing a new Draken um, thing. I mean, it's uh, it's supposed to be really good. I did put it on my list. Um, so that's what I'm picking up there. Um, the rest of this looks like junk anyway, so it is what it is. Anyway, um, so that's it, guys. That's it for books this week. Um, previews here came out <laughs> practically a month ago. And, um, actually, I think it was maybe just two weeks ago, come to think of it. It would be the last full week we had of last month. And, uh, Dan has been trying to remember to get it to me for a couple weeks now. <laughs> He's forgetting. So, and I also got my good friend, um, Mr. Needham, uh, another buddy of mine. I got him a uh, free comic book day book that he wanted bad from uh, Dark Horse. That he wanted back in May. May. And it just finally came out this week. So I got him that too. So I, I, get a, I got a really good haul. And I'm really happy. And all I can say is folks is. I love my comic books. And uh, I want to keep picking them up. But uh, they need to keep putting out more stuff. If they want me to keep picking it up. But I don't mean the comic book store. I mean the comic book industry. And we need to keep a close eye on DC because we don't know which direction they're heading in. They could be heading for, you know, basically the big flusher. And Marvel is just putting out Swill. So you know what you do with Marvel, folks? You buy it so you have kindling. So you have something to start your fires with in the winter. That's right. It's all it's good for. $3.99 worth of starter fuel. That's basically what it is. So, I just got to say, I am picking up a few things. Marvel puts out Venom, for example. There's a big crossover coming out in December. I'm really excited. But, for the most part, Marvel puts out junk. It's the wokest of the wokest of the wokest crap. And I really hope that instead of DC, they're the ones going down the flusher first. But we'll have to wait and see on that one. I heard bad things about the financial struggles of IDW and stuff, so... I don't know how much longer we got, guys, but we thought that the beer bug would finish off the um, entire comic industry and then with all the diamond stuff and everything that went on, and yet they're holding fast for now. Dun, dun, dun! But we'll see what happens. In the meantime, guys, as I always say, especially with what I've been going through lately, stay healthy, stay safe, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys, and as always... Be good to one another, because remember, folks, as I said at the top of the broadcast here, don't be an a-hole, because you know what a-holes do? They make everybody else miserable, and then when everybody else is miserable, they quit their jobs, and then there's nobody to serve the rest of you. So if you see an a-hole, you know what? Tell him nicely, but very firmly... That you need to be a better person because I want to be able to go to my local retail store and buy things. And if you drive all the all the associates off, then who's going to be there to take care of me? Even with all these self checkouts, folks, you still need real people to manage them. So, but there we go, guys. Try to be good to one another because you know what? There's a holes everywhere, and nobody wants to be an a hole. In the meantime, guys, you have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next time.